Okay, welcome to the first step in our process, and I like to call this the clean slate. And I consider this to be one of the important and foundational parts of getting started with Cabinet Vision. And I've seen with all the different people that I've helped set up on Cabinet Vision, getting this core foundation right really helps set the stage to learn Cabinet Vision and to be able to maintain your catalog. So, the deal is Cabinet Vision comes with a few stock options. And what we want to do is we want to clean those out and organize things in a way that makes sense to us. And that way, moving forward, we only see options that we've added ourselves. And like I said, I think this is a really foundational principle that helps you get off on the right foot. So to get started, I'm going to go into the material catalog. And what we see is if I click on some of these categories, you're going to see some of the options in here. So board stock and you know, panel stock and some of the different options here. So what I want to do is I want to delete all of these options and we're going to add them back one by one. And so before I can delete these, um, I need to go delete the material schedules because what happens is if I try to delete, you know, say I try to delete cherry plywood, if it's linked to a material schedule, it won't let me delete it. So my first step is I'm going to go into material schedules and there's several different types of material schedules. Assembly is like the main cabinet material schedule, which we're going to get into later, so you don't have to worry about this right now. But a lot of people are nervous about deleting things, which is a good thing <laughs> overall. Um, but for this example, I'm going to say it's perfectly okay. We're going to clear out all of these. So let's go ahead and just start deleting. Okay, now when we get to the last one, I also want to get rid of this one, but I can't delete the last one, obviously. So I'm going to click New. Now I have New Assembly and this one. Now I can go delete that last one. And so I should have, when I'm done, I should have one option in here called New Assembly that doesn't have anything assigned. So it's not going to prevent me from deleting anything. So that's perfect. Next, I'm going to go to the countertops and do the same thing. And so there's only two here, so again, same thing, click New, and then delete the previous ones. So now I'm left with one countertop. I'm do the same for doors. And we get to the end, I'm going to add a new one and delete that option. So now we have one door material schedule. And I'm just going to keep going through these catalogs, and I'm going to speed these up here a bit. Next we go to Drawer Guide, and I'm actually going to leave all of these. Um, so these have models in them, and this is the one thing I don't delete is the Drawer Guides. So we'll skip over Drawer Guides. Same for Hinge. I will get to this later, but for right now I'm not concerned about it. I'm going to go ahead and delete the molding. And the last one is Rollouts. Okay, so we cleared out assembly, countertop, door, drawer box, molding, and rollout. Now, we can head back to our material library, and we can start clearing out some of these items. So I'll leave none as an option, but I'm just going to delete everything else. You can highlight them and delete up from the toolbar, or you can right-click and delete. And for this case, you can actually make use of some shortcuts. Um, if you hold control, you can select each one and just kind of highlight a bulk delete and then right click and delete. Or if you choose the top one, hold shift and choose the bottom one, it will select everything in between. And then you can right click and delete. So now we have one edge banding option and we go to board stock. I'm going to delete everything except for cherry. Okay, so I have one option. I always use cherry as my <laughs> template when I'm building these out. 
Um, for caster, I can just leave that there. Connectors, fine. Drawer guides, fine. All these are kind of hardware options. So we get down to panel stock. And we want to delete, and I might just go ahead and keep the cherry options here as well. So we'll delete popular oak, maple, move on. And then we can go ahead and delete the rest of these. Again, I'm just selecting the top row and then holding shift and selecting the bottom to select everything. Okay, so now we're left with cherry panel stock. Now the other thing I really like to do is I like to organize this a little bit better. So I'm going to create a folder. There's the little plus icon up here that's they call them groups. And I'm going to rename this material. And then notice because I had highlighted banding when I clicked this, it did it as a subfolder under banding. So I'm going to use the arrows to move this over and up. And then I'm actually going to put banding underneath of material. I'm going to put board stock underneath of material. And then I'm going to bring panel stock up. And so this organization, again, just kind of gives you that foundational knowing where things are at and getting a, a good core start here. So now we got all of our, you know, kind of our important materials up here. And I'm going to create another folder. And I'm going to call this one hardware. And then again, I'll just use the arrows to be able to move it over. And now I'm going to move drawer guides up because that's an important hardware. So I move it up right below hardware and then I move it over to the right. And that nests that into there. Now I'm not really going to be using casters. Um, so I'm going to kind of skip over this. I do want to put connectors in there. And I do want to put hinges and hinge plates in here. And let's see. If you're using leg and leg levelers, um, you could also put that up in your hardware. Um, I think I will go ahead and put pool up here as well. So what I'm showing you is my suggested method, but this is going to differ for each shop. Um, and what I'm what I'm trying to accomplish here is putting the common items in these main subfolders. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to create a folder called Other. And I'm going to put some of these unused categories in here. You know, because I'm not doing any laminate, so I'm just going to kind of hide that into there. I'm not doing legs or leg levelers. And again, use... Um, Use your judgment on, you know, what folders you want to hide and which ones you want to kind of put up there in your main options. And you can create new folders and name these however you like. And if you're not sure right now, don't worry, it's easy to move and rearrange these at any time. Um, but now you can see we just kind of have a little better... Um, just when we look at it, we can visually kind of see what's happening. Okay. So that is a nice clean slate. Now when we click through it, it's not overwhelming. We know exactly what we, uh, what we have in our catalog. And like I said, the only things I really like to delete is like the materials. Um, I like to hang on to the drawer guides and the hinges just for kind of examples that I can copy off of. Um, but this is so beneficial to get that clean slate.